Will the truth ever come out? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top five facts about the death of Natalie Wood. I know where it was. Where what was? Where I first saw you. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be breaking down the facts surrounding the mysterious death of film actress Natalie Wood. Number 5. She was a big deal Natalie Wood was a movie star in the 50s and 60s, and before as a child star. Mommy told me if things don't turn out just the way you want them to the first time, you still got to believe, and I kept believing and you were right, Mommy. She appeared in such classics as Rebel Without a Cause and West Side Story, and was nominated for three Academy Awards before turning 25. So beautiful. Beautiful. Tragically, would later drown in a boating accident off the coast of California Santa Catalina Island on November 29, 1981. She was with her husband, fellow star Robert Wagner, and at some point during the night, seemingly fell overboard from their yacht. Her body was discovered a mile away in the ocean. However, conflicting witness testimonies have caused many to speculate over how she ended up in the water. Number 4 there were others on the yacht. Like all great mysteries, this one has twists and secrets. Natalie Wood and Robert Wagner were not the only people on the boat when she drowned. They were accompanied by Dennis Davern, the ship's captain, as well as Christopher Walken. Yes, that Christopher Walken. He'd been shooting the film Brainstorm with Wood and had been invited by the couple to spend the night aboard their yacht. There was considerable speculation at the time that Wood's death was not an accident and that her husband may have played a part. After two years of keeping silent, Walken finally spoke, remarking, The truth is, there is nothing more to it. It was an accident. Number 3. Wood was terrified of the ocean As if falling overboard in the middle of the night isn't bad enough, Natalie Wood had, according to famed director Elia Kazan, a terror of water, particularly dark water, and of being helpless in it. This fear would rear its head numerous times throughout her life and career, most notably during the filming of the 1961 film Splendor in the Grass. A scene called for her to be stranded in the middle of a reservoir, and Kazan attempted to capitalize on the aesthetics of her genuine terror by refusing to shoot it in studio. That phobia, coupled with her inability to swim, makes Wood's death all the more tragic. Dark water? goes all the way back to, you know, my, our darling sweet mom who uh, used to tell Natalie that uh, she would die by drowning and uh, dark water. And, you know, that's something that goes back to when I was a kid. Number two, the official cause of death was amended in 2013. In 1981, the L.A. County coroner labeled Wood's death an accidental drowning. However, the case was reopened in 2011 after the LAPD stated that they had received new information about the case from witnesses. Held one press conference, and from that press conference, we ended up with like uh, well over 100 people came forward with information about this case. Davern had also previously changed his original version of events, now claiming that Wagner and Wood had quarreled that evening. Natalie was in the water, and that he and RJ did nothing to pull her out. He said, and this is a direct quote from what Dennis said to me, leave her there, teach her a lesson. It was also determined that Wood might have sustained a number of bruises prior to entering the water. This all made the events surrounding Wood's demise that much murkier. In 2013, a 10-page addendum was added to the autopsy report, and the cause of Wood's death was officially changed to drowning and other undetermined factors. Number 1. The case has been reopened. Why is Natalie Wood's death in the news again? Well, despite the cause of death being changed in 2013, no charges were ever leveled against Wagner, or Walken, or Davern. Um, and yes, of course, we want to talk to Robert Wagner, you bet. Uh, we would love to hear his side of his version of events. But it appears that this may change, as new witness testimony has led to Robert Wagner being named a person of interest in Wood's death. Well, he's a person of interest because he's the last person with her before she went in the water. According to a spokesman from the LA County Sheriff's Department, Additional statements now portray a new sequence of events on the boat that night. Wagner has continued to deny that he was in any way involved in his wife's death. We may never know what really happened that night in 1981.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.